Hey guys, I review Apps 95 here. As you can see, I am bringing you kind of a modern combat for news video. I'm going to be hopefully putting out more news videos like this, explaining some of the new things in Modern Combat 4, such as weapons, um, new perks, and you know, just different things like that that may be of interest to you guys. So here's a screenshot I got, which most of you have probably already seen by now. Um, it's been out for a couple days and it's not the highest quality, but it shows the weapon the KT-44 from Modern Combat 3. So, um, obviously the stats aren't out for this gun yet for Modern Combat 4, so all I can reflect back to on is Modern Combat 3 to kind of give my opinion and give, um, what I hope to see, I suppose, in this gun for Modern Combat 4, so let's get right into it. So starting off with the things I didn't like about this gun in Modern Combat 3. First was the accuracy, next was the range, and next was the recoil. Things I did like is the damage, and the rate of fire was decent. I suppose that wasn't really something I liked, but it was it was fine. Now, <clears throat> considering this is an assault rifle, I find it kind of uh, sad, at least, that the accuracy would be so bad and that the range would be so bad. Having a hard recoil is a given. Again, it's an assault rifle, so that's a given. Uh, but they could still make it a little more manageable. But the accuracy in the range it was just terrible. It was, I mean, there were some shotguns in Modern Combat 3 that were better than uh, this one as far as the accuracy goes and the range. I mean, that's kind of sad. So, in Modern Combat 4, I really, really hope that they at least give this some better range and hopefully some better accuracy. The damage was fine and the rate of, rate of fire was, uh, was fine too. It wasn't the greatest, but you know, it was fine. So all in all, this is a decent gun, but wasn't all that great in Modern Combat 3, but I really, really hope that it turns out to be a fantastic gun in Modern Combat 4. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this gun and uh, what you hope to see in it for Modern Combat 4. I'll see you guys later. Bye.